Hello everyone and uh, thank you Natasha for the directions on how to create an ORCID ID and how to add details, how to add works and funding information into it. My name is Melroy and I'm the ORCID technical lead for the Australian Access Federation. And the Australian Access Federation is, or AAF as everybody knows it, is the current Australian Consortium Lead for ORCID. So the best way to get in touch with us is at support.af.edu.au. Uh, that's great. Why do you want to use support at af.edu.au? It's because as Consortium Lead, what we do is we provide support to all the members of the consortium, which is almost all the universities within Australia at the moment. Uh, General timings 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, and uh, ORCID also provides support but the consortium support is during Australian hours as opposed to uh, generally whatever is the time in Hong Kong. It is always in your regional time and then another thing is we have more of a regional focus so it's all within Australia. We've got the knowledge on what member institutions are currently doing with their integration whether they're planning, testing, if there are a couple of members who are doing something similar, then we try and get them to speak to each other, effectively connect the dots. Uh, why do you want to be a consortium member? It's because of the fact that you get premium membership, it comes at a reduced cost, and you have the ability to integrate ORCID into multiple systems. So what does the consortium lead do, or what can we do for you? Well, we can provide assistance with planning your integration. So as a member institution, you've decided that you want to take the next step, integrate ORCID into your systems. You get in touch with us. We can help you plan your integration. Uh, what we also do is those members of the, cons of the consortium who've already done their integration, uh, we actually document those integrations when possible, uh, create use cases, and then we just disseminate them to members. We also provide tier one support as I discussed and yes, we also act as a conduit between consortium members and ORCID, which means if any of our consortium members have any issues with ORCID or if some of the systems aren't working properly, anything like that, we just effectively escalate it to ORCID if it's something we cannot solve in the first instance. As for training, we do a lot of training for the consortium members. Uh, we try and organize a uh, number of workshops during the year. Some of them would be virtual, some of them in person. Uh, we also introduce the ORCID support staff. That would generally be me and a couple of people, a couple of others from the Australian Access Federation. What are the channels of communication you can generally use? Email is great. In fact, it's the best channel. Best email again is support at af.edu.au. The only reason I ask you not to send an email to me personally is because if I'm not at my desk or if I'm not in work that day, uh, chances are it won't be answered. Whereas if you send it to support, somebody from the team will be able to answer that question for you. Uh, another thing is what we do is ensure ORCID messaging advice and support is consistent throughout the consortium which means as members, as and when you integrate ORCID and you communicate with your researchers, what we'll ask you to tell your researchers is exactly what ORCID would be telling you to do, especially with the guidelines around how you use your logo, how the ORCID logo is used around branding. What we say would be exactly the same as what ORCID would be telling you. We also help you develop a local support FAQ if that's what you want to do, and yeah, we provide assistance with that. So when in doubt, always ask for help. Easiest way is, once again, support at aaf.edu.au. What do you generally do and who to contact? So what the organization members, so institutions would do is effectively get in touch with us as tier one consortium lead. And effectively, the questions that we would answer is how to do the integration, what sort of integration are you looking at doing, what other members are doing. We'll help you troubleshoot your integration if there are any technical issues. And then if you want to engage with your researchers or if you want resources that tell you how to do so, that sort of stuff, we'll be able to provide you a link to it or help you develop some of them. What we will escalate is stuff about 
accounts data that's private between a researcher and ORCID, so we won't have access to it, so we directly escalate that off to ORCID. If you have a really unusual workflow that nobody's ever done before, it's probably something ORCID might need to look at and actually work with you. Then if you're using new features, for example, something like peer review, uh, that's there in the latest version of the ORCID API, but it's not yet a stable version. So if you're using something like that or plan on using something like that, then it's probably something you'd have to escalate. And if you get a really, really complicated error, that case, we would again escalate it over to the ORCID support. So there are a lot of self-services, self-service resources currently available. Uh, there is a link to each of them over here on the slide. And what I'll do is once the webinar is over, I've already got a PDF copy of all of these links along with the resources, and I'll try and send it out to everyone who's registered for the webinar. Well, again, as usual, any questions at all regarding ORCID, what the consortium lead can do, if you're looking at doing an integration, please give us a call, let us know. Uh, we're more than happy to help you out with it. The main way to get in touch with us is support at aaf.edu.au. Generally from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Mondays to Fridays, we are available. Uh, even if it is after these hours, we try and respond to it as soon as possible. But yes, cool. So I shall hand it over now to Julia. Thanks, Melroy. Yeah.